As I said in this video, whether you want to upskill to get from where you are to where you want to be, or maybe you just want to learn a bit more about yourself or a certain industry, or maybe similar to me many years ago, you feel stuck in a job that you don't enjoy, or you, you maybe you want to start your own business like I have. And to do that, you need to upskill. You need to learn about business and the industry and, and you know many different facets. So online education is the way to go. You can do it in the comfort of your own home, wherever you are in the world, at your own pace. And so in this video, 10 of the best online course websites offering many courses from things like free 10 minute courses up to nano degrees and even full degrees. So check it out. In that video, we ran through the first 10 of this blog, which is which were Linda, Coursera, Udemy or Udemy, Udacity, Khan Academy, Code Academy, Block, Iversity, Skillshare, and of course, General Assembly. However, in this video, 10 more of the best online websites for courses so you can upskill, grow, develop, and move your uh, career or maybe just your personal growth in the right direction. So let's dive straight into it and jump into number 11, which is Open Culture. Now, there's an unlimited amount of free information on the internet and it's scattered all over, but Open Culture have done a great job at gathering much of the internet's high quality educational media and neatly organize, organizing it into one central location, which is, of course, Open Culture. They have course topics like art, history, design, computer science, psychology, neuroscience, all that sort of stuff. Now, just watch out for the paid advertisements. Like, see this thing here? It looks like it's kind of even in the same colors as the website, but it's, it's actually advertising and there's more advertising around there. So yeah, you just got to be careful of that. I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest, but hey, that's um, how they need to make money to maybe make make the information available. So here, anyone at this uh, website, Open Culture, anyone can gain access to over 1500 free online university courses or uh, MOOCs, which are massive open online courses, and they are generally free, or maybe they're all free. Um, you can also get audiobooks, ebooks, even educational videos on this website. So um, it's a great resource center for people who enjoy learning from a, a mixture of resources. But let's move on to the next one, which is Academic Earth. Uh, their courses include, again, watch out for, this is actually an adver advertisement. I just want to point this out. So see this, find a program. It's like same color as this banner up here. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's actually advertising. So you just got to watch out for that. So anyway, subjects that they offer are things like, or include art and design, business, engineering, humanities, medicine and healthcare, science and math, social science, and test prep for th things like the SATs, ACTs, LSATs, all that sort of stuff. Now, some of their partners include MIT, which is the Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, if I can even say it, Stanford University, and of course, Berkeley, as you can see here, amongst others. So I'm sure you can find some quality education in there. Number 13, we're not doing one to, one to 10 anymore. This is number 13 is edX. Uh, this, their, their course topics are things like business, da data analysis or data analysis, engineering, science, medicine, social science. So some um, pretty high ticket items in here. And, and as it says here, edX gives you access to 2,500 plus online courses from 140 institutions. Start today. Uh, the, if you scroll down and hit this browse, what I really like about this, you hit this browse online courses website, it takes you, uh, sorry, button, it takes you to this page over here where you can really do some great filtering. You can either search or you can uh, use these drop down boxes f to filter. You know, you can choose architecture, chemistry, communication, electronics, humanities. Uh, it also says, or you can search by what's, uh, which, uh, partner is offering this course. You can also search by what sort of program. Do you want a master's degree, micro masters, professional cert, X series? Uh, what level, introductory, inter introductory, intermediate, advanced, availability, available now, upcoming, archived, and of course, language. So there's some really, and back here, of course, you can also do all, all courses, all programs. 
Uh, so it's some really powerful, powerful search functionality there. I really like that. Uh, Allison, Allison.com. So the course topics for Allison include things like IT languages, science, uh, health, business, marketing, lifestyle, technology, and it's home to over 1,500 courses. Now, there's a wide scope of topics that they um, you can learn from, including like marketing management, entrepreneurship, photography, even yoga. As you can see up here, lifestyle is uh, one of their things that you can click on there. Uh, you also get to choose your own learning experience, whether that involves um, taking a shorter kind of certificate course or a more extensive learning path. Plus 100% of the courses here are free. Now there are upgrades. Uh, so there you go, you can sign up for free, but there are upgrades basically if you just wanna get rid of advertisements. So if you go up to premium at what's that, eight euros per month, uh, removes all adverts, full access to CV builder features if you're interested in that, up to 50% off certification and certification costs. Basically, if you want, uh, if you do a course and you want the physical certificate, then they'll send that to you. And um, if you want to remove adverts, yeah, you can do that too. Number 15 is iTunes, iTunes U free courses. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure about this one, but it, it looks like it's still available. Uh, it doesn't get a, a great rating. It's 2.9 stars with 314 ratings on the Apple, uh, in the Apple store. And anyway, they cover topics such as art and humanities, business, marketing, psychology. So if you own an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod Touch or any iThingamyBob, uh, then iTunes U might be a handy learning resource uh, you know, while you're on the go, because obviously it's mobile. Uh, the This little app provides a large, quite a large collection of um, educational materials, and all of these have been vetted and approved by leading institutions. Um, including similar to the other ones, in fact, Stanford, MIT, uh, Yale, to name a few. Now, the app also allows you to integrate. Now, yeah, sorry, I should actually show you a bit more about it. When if you click on it from uh, from the blog, which I showed you before, this one, this blog here, the 32 best online courses to upskill um, for success. If you click on, if you scroll down to the iTunes U area and click on it, it'll take you straight to here which, um, you know, it's not, not the best user experience in my opinion. But anyway, when I dug a bit deeper, you can see that uh, with, with the app, you can do things like plan lessons, uh, grade assignments, upload and share teaching materials, engage every learner using apps. So you can actually bring in other um, materials from other apps and things like that. Uh, and also get one one-on-one -on -one feedback from course instructors. So yeah, anyway, it could be some interesting educational content and it's obviously on demand. Next one is number 16, Stanford Online. They've got a great um, solidarity with our black community statement in there from the president, which I highly respect. I think that's fantastic. It's um, yeah, obviously important with what's going on at the moment. So uh, Stanford Online, one of the world's most prestigious universities um, Stanford offers a, a, a huge range of online courses and advanced degrees and other educational content, uh, which you can obviously learn at your own pace. So you can find a, a range of free MOOCs, which I mentioned before, those massive open online courses, and, or you can choose to invest in Stanford's private courses. So in terms of fees for that, as you can see here from their um, admissions page, they've got tuition and it says $1,300 per unit. Each course ranges from three to five units as indica indicated on course enrollment pages so uh, it's a cool search it, yeah sorry back here it has a cool search function uh, where you can select your topics so they offer all sorts of things like robotics and biosciences and entrepreneurship and computer science and let's say I clicked on a couple of them then it will bring you over here and it actually shows you what you've clicked on robotics biosciences entrepreneurship uh, and you can um, expand or contract the various different menus over here you can also uh, filter by uh, courses and change what it looks like to a list and all that sort of stuff so yeah very cool functionality and, a, and good user experience on this website so I recommend it Harvard extension is number 17 uh, the course topics here are things like accounting science languages writing media marketing management a whole bunch of different things and you can obviously see get um, you can get degrees certificates courses uh, pre-medical studies professional development or just learning in retirement for the 
people, the people who are more mature in life, you could say. So here you'll find over 900 online courses taught by the, their expert lecturers on almost every topic that you'll find in the college. So as you can see from this admissions page here, uh, it's open enrollment, so there's no application required. And in fact, there's a bit more of a step-by-step -step process down here. There's 900 plus courses offered. And the actual tuition for an undergrad course, it's uh, about 1800 US dollars or uh, 2800 for a graduate course. So the uh, the steps here, it's super, super simple. As it says, no application even required. So you just dive in and, and go for it. Okay, I think that's all for Harvard Extension. Let's move on to number 18, only three left, Open Yale courses. So the, the course topics here involve, uh, include, I should say, things like science, English, economics, history, psychology, languages. And the Open Yale courses have um, grouped their they pulled together their top lecturers in a range of topics, like I just mentioned, and turned it, turned it into um, online courses for anyone to access. Each course is completely free and comes with additional readings, exams, downloadable videos, and even audio uh, lectures to you know broaden your learning experience. Some of us learn in different ways. Now, the only downside is that there aren't any course credits, um, certificates, or degrees because uh, they're basically introductory courses. In fact, it even says here a selection of introductory courses. On the bright side, though, this is perfect, in my opinion, for someone who is wanting to get a flavor for an industry or a profession before investing way more time and money into it. So that's it's a good um, good resource center for that. The next one is number 19, which is UC Berkeley Class Central. This is a bit of a strange resource. But I thought I'd pop it in there as UC Berkeley is obviously a very reputable brand. Now, on this page, they have 68 uh, courses listed, which appears to be listings basically from, and they put it in small writing in here, so you can see it, but it's, it's not super visible. Uh, listings from things like uh, edX, Coursera, FutureLearn, with a bunch of advertising put in there too. So again, I, I've find this a little bit untoward the way it looks exactly like everything else except this is an ad. It does say ad here, which is good, but you know, they've given, they've, all the ads have given themselves a five star rating, which is, oh, yeah, anyway, anyway, let's not get caught up on it. Uh, it's nice that you can actually filter on this side by subject and see how many courses they have per subject. So social sciences has four subjects. Engineering has a couple, science, and what has the most? Humanities. So humanities, computer science, business, and data science actually have the most, but there are some other things, including personal development and health and medicine down the bottom there. Now, number 20, finally, is MIT Open Courseware. This, uh, this resource has topics like business, engineering, health and medicine, uh, humanities science, social sciences, and they have over 2,400 courses. So MIT OpenCourseWare, or OCW as they call themselves in some places, is a, it's a web-based publication of virtually all the MIT course content, uh, and it's open and available to the world. So it's pretty good, So and certainly worth checking out. I really hope you got something out of that. If you know someone who's looking to upskill and, and grow and develop and get move their career in there or, or even just themselves and their personal growth in that that right direction then feel free to um, share this video with them otherwise be sure to hit the subscribe button and smack that bell so you don't miss out on the great content we've got in store have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video bye